Not that I ran out of things, but we definitely need to talk about Castlevania, the animated series on Netflix. Since I can't really use footage of the show or else I'll get a copyright strike, I'll use footage of Castlevania 3 on NES, which the show is based on, and just settle with the copyright claim instead. Let's dive into Castlevania, the animated Netflix show. Castlevania lines up with the third game on the NES. Targo Viste burns Dracula's wife at the stake for witchcraft, and he takes revenge upon the people despite the unheard wishes of his wife to not do so. Trevor Belmont is our vampire killer and is excommunicated and the Belmont family is blamed for what Dracula's done. The church falls apart and it's up to Trevor, after some soul searching, to rally the citizens of Greshit and tackle the demons of the night along with educating everyone on how to do so. I actually recorded a whole synopsis but then I realized this is a show and not a game so I can't really tell you everything that goes on. So I'll wrap up talking about the story with the three characters from the game that we have here, Trevor, Sifa, and Alucard. The whole thing is more gory than I had anticipated and has a style more based off Symphony of the Night, which has been the set standard for Castlevania and many other Metroidvania games since its release. The story is fantastic and the pacing, animation, and voice acting are all solid, and the series definitely holds a lot of promise. However, this was clearly a pilot thing though and it wasn't given a huge budget since there were only 4 episodes, but we can hope that Season 2 makes up for this and gives us more episodes. I'm personally fascinated in how they'll do Grant, who is another playable character from Castlevania 3, or if the story goes on and then we can do Symphony of the Night and the other games between that and 3 but we'll have to wait and see. Castlevania, the Netflix animated series, gets a 4 out of 5.